to the northwest of Pakistan where it is raining and I am in the best village in the world. We are in Kasai Road. Just enjoy the ride, enjoy the view. West of Pakistan, with Tajik on one side, maybe east. The Indus River is just a stone's throw away. The little shops, hey, up in the little chicken shop. It's a nice, a wide road, and the open drains are not very pleasant in their smell. On the motorbike, go round and round. Three on a bike. So, from wherever you're watching, remember to jump over to a YouTube or other version. Isn't that pretty? As we head around in Babu's Dolly type vehicle, have a wonderful day. Trust you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you for keeping up to date with us with the journey as I enter one of the greatest villages in the world. According to my friends, it's the greatest village in the world. It's pitter patter rain time, and I've managed to leave my microphone at home. So, on today, today's video, I'm taking you through a small drive, or probably a long drive knowing Pakistan because we keep I keep getting stopped and we have various conversations so currently we are in a village which is bordered by the river Indus on the south Kamalpur Musa on the east Shadi Khan on the west a village which is situated in the north west of Pakistan the district is Atuk and the district is subdivided into little parts which includes Atuk, Jang, uh, Patijang, Jand, uh, Atuk itself and a few others which I've totally forgotten about right now. The whole area and the district is roughly about six and a half thousand square kilometers. So <laughs> English is in the first language, in it. Thank you. trap. Tau, tau So, how much is there? No. Eastern side. The children are spending mila Islam about there. Or come up is pension mil pe khawarde. So, da kum yo kilede. What do you think? Did you know that this area is known for its? Arab and arable, rich fertile land where wheat, where wheat, maize, barley, many pulses, spinach, coriander, mint, potatoes, corn, barley, <laughs> the list goes on. <laughs> Much of the stuff will reach the markets, national, local and international as well. The Tanya and the wheat can end up in Oldham, Manchester, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Paris and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my favourite village and welcome to the village of Oesa. Okay, so, oh, of course, yeah, mashallah. So we have gone past the old famous Begunu Ada. You can watch that on a different uh, video which I made last year great fun chatting cricket and a station as we go past some nice smells and this is Fazal Karim Lala's place Lala Kaguri mashallah recently khabari sab sarashivi aur sab nachi rawaniyo nazar ke ralo the ocean city resort tumje imtiyaz Lala Kaka khel is investment you know the crowd of the Kilikyu, a 
امید اللہ پاک پہ کامیاب کئی اور کامیابی صرف چلی گی ان شاء اللہ سو لوگوں نے چینج پہ کے رالو مخ کے از دا سپر مارکیٹو ان لوک آن دی اپوزٹ سائیڈ ما شاء اللہ مارکیٹو نے لکیا جوڑی گی ریلیجن I was talking about east and the west and how can I forget Sirka? Massive influence upon the whole area as a wedding vehicle which goes past us. Oh, and look at this. So we always have a little bit of banter, banter between the Sirka boys and the Wesa boys. But look, <laughs> mashallah, we are all one big family. difference in pronunciation of words bara and porta so ultimately we are one as we go past the katwa hotel so i've left my microphone at home so i'm not sure how much you're going to hear or someone else has razi but a massive shout out to musaddiq faisal uh, ashma ashma mood faizan uh, faiz uh, abd sattar uh, the boys of the square uh, hafiz aki Uh, Ibrahim, how can I get, forget Ibrahim, number 55, hope you're watching. Or uh, Ibrahim, that's it, I don't know. I'm sure I'm not going to do a video, inshallah, I'll get it. Oops, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. So, Shamsabad Road, my name, Ravanyu. All the boys of the square, all the young ones who helped me to make the little outro. Which says, Assalamu alaikum, please subscribe, please like, please share, the young guys. And Omer, if you're watching with your camping videos, I've forgotten your son's, son's name, who I met in uh, Masjid Bilal <laughs> quite a number of times. So if you're watching young man, the man from Masjid Bilal, okay, a massive shout out to you. If you comment with your name below, inshallah, I shall mention you in further videos. Look, so if you're watching here, look, all this is wheat. Some of the things that we eat in our Weetabix, and it's ready to harvest. and ready to turn into flour which we can use for our bread and our cakes and our dodai and so on and so forth and this is the village of Shams Abad Kiliki wa Shams Abad Shams Abad Oh yeah even yeah Ababu Shams Abad yeah comes a little bit like Shams Abad but like Shams Abad We are blessed in the UK as we go past through a flower mill with modern amenities, modern roads, modern lighting, modern electricity, gas and electricity and water that we can use up until our hearts are content. But in this, these areas, look, electricity is rationed, which means it's switched off by the Water and Power Development Authority. It's a very simple life. There's a protection for the motorbike with his umbrella. Look, the man carrying his pots and pans. And as, uh, as we go through here, a famous little spot. Local, locally, a gentleman known as Amin Aslam of the Pakistan Dairy in South Party. This is where it happens. Allahumma Allahumma swayyiban nafia May Allah bring the good out of this rain Let's so go past the super scholar system And look, simplicity in, in Pakistan, not particularly clean Look, a relatively simple very modest area look at the red brick Lancashire here's the road going to Palau Shuk as we see 
children playing in the rain. <laughs> Uh, look, the wheat is being manually harvested. Baranu denu, ava baran sarachi denu, ava nam kharabi ki Allah paak se denu sarazi de. Noor raavali, je dzimidar, samarat, Allah ji khaki. And this is the modern. Charles Elysee, <laughs> like in Paris. This is a local Charles Elysee. Isn't that beautiful? Another portion of the Charles Elysee. These fields are now being ploughed and mowed for the next crop. Often potatoes. Oh, Viro, ma'am. MashaAllah, we've got right hand side one in the land of the SubhanAllah. Alhamdulillah. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Beautiful. Mubarang, look at it. It's shook. The rain is getting heavier. Breeze and the freshness of the trees is absolutely beautiful, absolutely priceless. This way I'm overtaken by a van, enjoy the drive, just enjoy the silence. Silence is powerful. As we turn left towards the trunk road, we hit a mini flood. As we turn into a filling station. As the tea sits on the table. the plastic like Loading vehicle one. We come out of the filling station and we enter Gamran. Gamran, Gamran, Gamran town is famous for its Pakistani army cantonment, a factory which produces defence equipment, specialises in engineering for the forces in Pakistan, specifically the. Navy as well, it employs thousands of people at various levels as we hit <laughs> a little ditch. We go past one of the regional <laughs> well known cash and carries 
oh, as we look through the rain. And here comes a looks like a police vehicle. Oh yes, it is a police vehicle. As he turns right across our path at one mile an hour. And the market traders selling vegetables, usually fresh from the local fields. Hide under there. Pretty weak looking tents. And the fishmongers and the butchers are also hiding. So usually temperatures are relatively fair and warm at this time of year. So lots of Shoppers have also run away, they have disappeared. The Camera Air Base is also here as well. So, usually, there's a fairly high security and military uh, presence in the town. You'll see officers and families of the officers coming to the main shopping area. The Camera Plaza also a very prominent building here as well with its uh, national and international brands as well uh, more well-known local brands like service Barta uh, Borjan is another one that's uh, relatively powerful uh, a shoe supplier and in Dior also appear to be here as well there's lots of traders as we go past the Al Medina complex the temperature is still relatively I'll start that sentence again it's still fairly warm the temperature has been relatively stable um, during the day it's about 14 or 15 degrees and I'm not sure where we're heading which is part of the just exploring and sitting in the van and just go the vibrance the color the energy in this Pakistan is really eye-catching <laughs> bananas melons uh, I'm not sure what type of food that was actually I'm not sure if it's apricots <laughs> Guys are soaked, but they're off to play cricket. Karachi cut. Peace. Oh, Mashallah, lights are on time. And another famous little spot, Al Faisal Mall, well known for fabric. Little cars, big cars, white cars. Maroon cars and a rickshaw and a motorbike, of course. Oh, there you go. How can you not? Toyota Corolla. And in front of us, we have the Grand Trunk Road from Teknaf. You can see some vehicles just on the other side. So the Grand Trunk Road from Vietnam from thousands of kilometers. Sometimes known as the King of Roads. Rudyard Kipling described it in a relatively similar words. He said, you will see traders' potters, fruit sellers, bangle sellers, cotton traders and much more along the road goodness is he selling bags or sacks or oh looks like tarpaulin really so the matter to put the bag in there oh we got tomb factory hungry no card g so massive shout out and a thank you for continuously watching the videos and commenting and liking and sharing uh, it's, a, it's a simple journey 
through the wonderful colours of, of Pakistan. I'd like you to be here for uh, a little while and take you through uh, various other villages as well. Uh, they start to start to touch on because uh, the families uh, from here we have very close bonding and a relationship with thousands of people who associate with this uh, village. Um, earlier on, I was just re reminiscing. I think I've definitely done so. But it was like I could do for the from all them from all those uh, years ago. God bless you, Lala. I hope you're watching. That's a good video of me. The good, good. I'm just thinking about you. That's of course the kind of thing. Today, the man for Milmani Kasani. So, today, no, I'm very long on the video. Okay, let me finish it. Here is she. Um, I'm just coming through the, the village. Uh, welcome, if you're watching. I'm going to come and see you, inshallah. Okay. Uh, the King of Bradford from all those um, uh, years ago as well. Uh, my friend, uh, Kari Kari Kuban, also a, a, a Bradfordian. Um, I think went through Mutai, past Mutai, his place. Uh, Mohsen, if, you uh, if you're watching. Masoud, if you're watching. Um, Arif, if you're watching. Some say, you know, I feel like I don't know if that's me. Uh, thank you, man. So, look, just keep watching. Just remember to uh, share the videos out there. If there's something specific, if there's something really, uh, really, really important or a project that's going on that's really important in the area, then do let me know. I will go and uh, have a world-class discussion with someone about it, inshallah. So wherever wherever you're watching from, wherever you're viewing from, whether you are in uh, Canada, America, uh, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Australia, New Zealand, whether you're in the UK, France, or anywhere in the world that gets you to tune into this station from me to you. Assalamu alaikum.